Boom. Intro. Peace. How's it going, y'all? Had to work today. Like I already told you, back to work. Man, it's humid. Woo. Humidity and a welder doesn't make for a fun day, guys. It doesn't make for a fun day. But anyway, got some of those packages left. I've still got to open. One from uh, Customizer and one from Mr. Jones. And then I got home and I had another one from our buddy Trevor Samuda. A big one, too. I don't know what he could have put in there. I mean, I just sent him a couple cars, a couple flying uh, customs he was missing. And uh, I don't know. He just looks like he sent something back, but he didn't really have to do that. You know how it goes. I'm curious. So, anyway, let me bust these things open. And also, I got an email from the diecast clown today. He said his surgery went well, he's doing good, healing. A few little things, but his his issues, and um, said thank you to everybody again, and he's still watching the content because unfortunately he's still stuck there, and uh, so thanks again, guys. Glad y'all helped out like that. Everybody helped out. I've been seeing them videos coming from everywhere. That's cool. That's what really makes a difference, man. When you're in a place like that, you know. It's easy to uh, just feel left behind in somewhere like that, you know. It's just not a cool place. But anyway, glad to hear everything's working out. Um, so hopefully we'll see him making some videos here before long and getting back to making his rounds. And thanks guys, I noticed that a lot of people went and subbed to his channel too. That's cool, real cool. Awesome, and I know they ain't all. They're not all for me. I mean, you had Dotson Man, you had Honest Diecast, you had all kinds of people send people that way. So that's cool. Thanks, thanks again, guys. All right, let's see what we got going on here from Mr. Jones. Mr. James, still clearing space on the wall, and wanted to send you the sister cars to the M2 Camaro and two pickups I sent you the other day with the car you are doing for my dad. Thank you for everything, for the community. Mr. President. <laughs> Sincerely, Mr. Jones. Shh. Well, he's got PS at the bottom and it says shh. So I don't know that I'm supposed to say anything about that. So I better not say anything about that, just in case. I mean, he's got shh down there for a reason, apparently. Could be just joking around, it could be serious. All right, right on. I'm trying to hurry up, guys. I'm not trying to rush you, but I got three of them here I need to go through. And then I got some stuff I got to ship out, drop off tomorrow. One is Mr. Jones's custom. I got to get that Impala off. And uh, I got some stuff for the guy. I, I got to send that bone shaker. He was on vacation, so I needed to wait to ship it off tomorrow. But uh, looks like he sent the 70 Ford Mustang Boss 302. Pretty sweet. I actually thought that I grabbed that. No, but I don't, I guess I did not. Nope, I did not, so right on. Pretty sweet. Right on, man, thanks brother. Didn't have to do that again. And the Dodge, 66 Dodge Charger Hemi. Plain Jane, stock, right like it would have came, just like you would have got it.
card art on these things are cool too. Tells a little story in there, talks about it a little bit. You know, and back then, think about that. 66 Charger with the Hemi in it. 426 Hemi. And, and you know, the things didn't handle real awesome back then. <laughs> a lot of them cars had big old bus steering wheels for a reason. Alright, and the other one is, oh, right on. I, I did not see this one there. I definitely would have grabbed it. But it's the 68 Pontiac Firebird. The 400. I actually, uh, a couple of my older cousins I hung around with had a buddy. Had that exact car. I mean, same color. Black vinyl top. Just as painted, but his was a vinyl top. and uh, Which maybe that's supposed to simulate a vinyl top. But I mean, exactly just like that. Pretty sweet. I'll remember this car forever, too. Me and my uh, cousin, my older cousins, had a, a, another brother. He was, they were like three years older than me. The other brother was like two years younger than me. And of course, my older cousins always had us playing chicken with buck knives. You know, big bomb buck knives throwing at each other's feet and all that. Taught me how to throw knives, nunchucks, all kinds of stuff as, as a kid. I mean, by the time I was 10, I was, I, I mean, to this day, I can throw anything. I can throw a screwdriver, I throw a ballpoint pen, stick it in your neck. Not, don't, I won't, I wouldn't do that. But anyway, anyway, me and my younger cousin were playing that game at the Cherry Hill Park, and, uh, I stuck him right in the leg. That thing went in like that far. Stuck right in there. And I, he was there, Rick. I'm pretty sure his name was Rick. He was a friend of my cousin's. We, we didn't really, but he's seen it. He come driving his car all up through the grass, all the way back over there. and Got my little cousin and took him home. Pulled a knife right out of his leg. Took him home. And, uh, I was like, I just knew I was going to be in trouble for that. I mean, I was like 13. <laughs> yeah, I remember them days. Yep, yeah, that's that car, all right. Right on. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Cool. I got... And this, this one from a customizer, man, it's kind of it's heavy. It's like there's going to be a lot of stuff in there, guys. I don't know. Maybe it's going to take a little while to get all that stuff out of there. We just have to see. See what we got going on. And again, I, all I sent him was a General Lee. Um, I mean, I might have threw a couple other little cars in there. I'm not sure. I don't really recall. Yeah, it looks like he sent me a bunch of loose stuff here. It's going to be a... I'll try to do them quick, guys. Boom, intro piece. What's up, big dog? Here's a bunch of Lucy's for you to go through. I don't care what you do with them. I know you probably have extras, lol. Also, it's some customs I thought I should give to you. I hope you like them. I'm loving that custom you did for me. It's awesome. I hope I can get... It's awesome. I hope I can get... And it ends right there. Oh, it's like it's tore. I don't know. Maybe he... Maybe whatever he was going to say, he changed his mind, ripped it off. I don't know. But it's not there. I don't know. I guess. Anyway, let's bust through here and see what we can sh got going on real quick. It's like a loose Roadrunner. What it looked like. Hot 
wheel. I'm going to set these into another one as I go. I'm running out of room over here. You got a Oh, that baby there is a 65 Malibu. I haven't actually seen that one. That one's sweet. Look at that. Right on. Check that out. I haven't actually seen that casting. I definitely would have grabbed that. Alpine. What is this? Is this a tuned Escalade? Bound to be. Bound to be a tuned Escalade. Right on. And we got a another Escalade, I believe. It might be a Blazer. It's called the Boombox. Sweet. Oh, check that out. I've seen these. I haven't got any of them. I didn't want to start that. That's a cool little NASCAR, it's the minis. Lowe's. Huh. That's cool. I like that little car. Check that out. Huh. Lowe's. I, mean, I go there a lot now. Little doom buggy. Man. I've never seen that casting either. O2. Metal base. Man, that's cool. Yeah, I've never seen that one. That one would definitely look cool with some different wheels on it. Yeah, I've never seen that. Little bumper car. It's a metal base too. No, it's plastic. It just looks metal. Huh? Right on. Oh, check it out. Another Doom buggy. It says O2 again. Easter. Huh? Yeah, I've never seen those. A Challenger, a Charger, 71 maybe, 70. What is that? Doesn't actually say. Man, I don't know what you sent me all these cars for, brother. Brother, I don't. There's way more than I'm ever going to get done. Check that one out. Another Roadrunner maybe. Charger. It's like the top's been smashed a little bit. Yep, right there. And it's kind of shamrock paint job, I think. Oh, St. Patrick's Day. All right, I get it. I get it. St. Patty's Day. Right on. Cool. You got another little. Cuda looks like. Challenger maybe. Yeah, I'd say that's probably a Challenger. Getting a lot of Mopar here, guys. I know our buddy Alan over there loves Mopar. Check that out. Old 57 T Bird. Pretty sure that's what that is. 57 T Bird. I don't think, I think I might have one T-Bird. Huh. Cool. Thanks, brother. Another Mopar. It's like it's... It's real low. It's like, it's like lowered or something. 
doesn't look like he's taking it apart. Maybe the wheels don't look like they've been smashed up in there. Must come that way. Huh. Pretty cool. What we got here? Looks like... Okay, looks like he's got some stuff wrapped up here. Oh, sweet. Got some customs. 62 Chevy. Right on. Check it out. Got the white walls. I think I seen a video when he was doing these. All detailed up. And white walls look killer on there, don't they? Man, I'm probably going to... I'll stick it back in there for now, but I'll probably end up taking those out of the car, bro. Setting them up somewhere. Oh, another one. Check that out. Another 62 Chevy. Looks like you got fat wheels on the front and the back. Oh! Oops, I didn't realize it was going to come off. I see. Yeah, he got her lowered up in there, look. The babies are tucked up in there. Right on. Yeah, they tucked up in there deep. Cool. Stick that back. Like I said, I'll probably take these things out. I got a couple more in here, maybe. This one looks... Same paint job. Just put some different wheels on her. And they're all slammed up in there, too. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm going to have to set all those up, buddy. Definitely. Got another loose Mopar. Like a Barracuda, maybe. Plymouth. Barracuda. Right on, cool. Looks like there might be another little custom here. This one's all kinds of wrapped up. Wrapped up and protected. Let's see if we can get this opened up. Bugatti. Check it out. It's like a textured paint job or something. It's like it's like textured. Yeah, my grand's grandson gonna see that. He only He's only six. He's all about Bugatti for some reason. Man, I'm bad at those ages. He might have just turned seven. I don't know. I don't know why I don't stick to the... <laughs> anyway, check that out. Yeah, he sees that. He's going to be like, hey, there's a Bugatti. the Hot Wheels too. 
cool. Put that back in the case. Right on, brother. Thanks. Now I got some uh, customs from the customizer. Cool. And I got some others here I can daddle with. Some of these I'm not going to change. I'm going to leave them just like they are. I got to find somewhere to put all this stuff, guys. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Like I said, you didn't have to send me none. I just sent you a couple cards. But I appreciate it. Same with Trevor here. Let's see what Trevor sent. Um, again, look at this big old box. All I sent him was a couple cars. Uh, flying must the, the the flying customs he was missing. And uh, I mean, maybe maybe a couple more. Anyway, let's see what we got going on here. Paper, and he's done. Looks like he's throwing all kinds of stuff in here. All right, this one is 33 Larry's Hot Wheel Garage. Maybe it stays like that. 33 Ford Roadster. That thing is super cool. I wonder if that's Larry Wood. Must be. I don't I wasn't getting cards back when this came out. 09, so 2010. Larry's garage. Yep, Larry Wood says right there. Yep. Larry Wood, right on. It's like a street rider. Got real riders on it too. Man, that's awesome, brother. Man. Just a little thank you. Well, you didn't have to send me all that, buddy. Sure did not have to do that. There's a lot of stuff in here. This one is the uh Rat Rods Track T. Huh. I don't have that one either. Check that out. A one seater there. Man, that's cool. I don't know where I'm going to put these things. I've got to find somewhere to set them. Got so much stuff over here now. Man, brother, really, you didn't have to send me all this stuff. Check this out, NASCAR. Rusty Wallace. Racing champions. Old one, looks like Trevor must be, he must have been collecting for a while or uh, scored some stuff at a flea market or something. That's an old one. Man, I feel bad now sending me all these cars. I uh, I just seen in the comments you was missing one, so I just mentioned that I'd send it to you. Another superstar NASCAR. That's cool looking. Matchbox. I've never even seen these. Matchbox, 91. This is what it says on the back. Yeah, I've never even seen those. Very cool. Look at them big old bold tires on there. Goodyear Eagles. Sweet. And yeah, got another racing champions. Hooters, number seven. Alan Kowicki. Ninety-three, nineteen ninety-three edition. Yeah. Old. Yeah, that's too cool, brother. 
Man, I got some more in here. Richard Petty. Another racing champions. Check that out. Another old one. Now, Trevor, them cars I sent you wasn't worth all this. Wasn't worth all these at all. Man. There's even more in here, guys. Winner's Circle. Dale Earnhardt. Monte Carlo. The Gold Bass Pro One. Awesome. I've got some messes. Man, that's cool. Holy man. Again, brother, didn't need all these. Didn't have to do all that. Now he's got some really, really Jimmy Spencer. 93 Premier Edition. Never even seen these either. That's cool. Old, old, old. I guess you can get the driver's signature, so maybe these are sold at the track. Or maybe you buy them and then you take them with you to the track. I don't know. There's another one. McDonald's. <laughs> Hut Strickland. 93. Dang, man. Yeah, you definitely didn't have to send me all these, brother. All right, there ain't no way what I sent you was worth that. Some Pez. Number 17 NASCAR. Oh, helmet head. Huh. Ain't that crazy. More stuff in here. Extra strength goodies, quick relief, extra strength headache powder, imitational race card offer. It's got Petty on it. Oh, Richard Petty. That's crazy. Look at that. Expired in 96. Man, that's wild. We got some, uh, some cards here. Yeah, you got some NASCAR cards. I don't have any cards. I never did really collect cards. Check it out. You got old Ricky Rudd. Got the Petty Team. Sterling Marlin. Some old ones. Kenny Bernstein. Junior Johnson. Yeah, these are old ones. Dale Earnhardt. Kyle Petty. Earnhardt. 
Richmond. I guess the Richmond win. Michael Waltrip. Oh, Todd Bodine. You got Brett Bodine. Number 33, Memorial Moments. Hair, 51 year old Harry Gant. Special Forces Army car, sponsored by Reynolds Tobacco Company. It was driven by Alan Kowicki. Yeah, tobacco is probably not out there doing that anymore. Ted Musgrave. Of course, got all the stats and everything on the back. Right on, that's pretty cool, bro. Thanks. I didn't have any of those. Yeah, you didn't have to send me all this, man. Um, definitely stuff I had none of. But like I said, that's not even nowhere in comparison to what I sent you. Nowhere in comparison. Wow, guys. Well, there you go, guys. I wanted to show those, get them to you, show everybody what, what I got. Man, I didn't stretch this video out 30 something minutes. Damn, my fingers itch, man, all in between them. I'm a welder, but I also do electrical. I, I build equipment, so you got to wire it. A lot of it's high temp wire. So when you pull the wire, all the little fiberglass gets all in your fingers. Ah! Doesn't bother me till the next day or later in the afternoon and god it just itches but uh anyway thanks for watching guys and thanks thanks everybody customizer trevor samuda and uh mr jones thank all you guys for sending me stuff y'all haven't checked out the customizer check him out i'm sure if you've watched me you've probably watched him same with trevor samuda You've probably watched him. He has a lot of bigger cars, 118 scale and 124, stuff like that, which I like because I collect those as well. I have several and I have a lot upstairs. Um, that's what I started getting first. These Hot Wheels were the last thing I started getting. I would get uh, M2, uh, Auto World, Johnny Lightning, stuff like that. Then eventually I, I got a uh, Hot Wheels and Matchbox, but um, I used I started out buying the bigger stuff. I like I like the big stuff, 18, 118 scale, 124 scale. I like my diorama, I like my Bigfoot over there. But anyway, thanks again, guys. Thanks for sending all that stuff. I appreciate it. Um, none of you needed to do had to do that. None of you. Um, thanks again, and I appreciate it. And. I will definitely try to get all this stuff sorted out and put away now. That's going to be very, very, very hard. Um, but thanks again. Um, hopefully that was something for you to watch, especially you, Kevin, Diecast Clown, if you're still laid up. That gave you 30 minutes of something to watch. Hopefully it wasn't too boring for you. But uh, We'll see you next time. Y'all take it easy. I got to get over here and get these packages packed up and shipped out. Got to drop them off tomorrow after work. Y'all take it easy. Peace. Thanks again, guys. Outro.